Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 814th Energy Drink Review video. It's 10.40 p.m., and it's Friday, April 14th, 2017. Today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of the flavors of these High Brew Cold Brew Coffee Coffee Drinks that I got from a Walmart Super Center. This is the Salted Caramel Flavored one. Oh uh, yeah, I already drank one of these a couple of days ago, so yeah. But yeah, I got this at a Walmart Supercenter for around $2.50, so it's about average priced for a coffee drink. So yeah. It has a silver top with a silver tab. On the bottom it has a Best Buy date. Best Buy January 9th, 2018. 60 calories. Cold brew, high brew coffee, salted caramel, natural flavor. 8 fluid ounces, 236 milliliters. Natural caffeine, 2 cups of coffee. Fair trade certified coffee, gluten free, natural settling may occur. Born in Austin, Texas, USA, not all coffees are created equal. Cold brew equals water plus beans plus temperature. Only 8 grams of sugar, better, not bitter. Natural caffeine, low acidity. High brew for those who do. Born from the adventure of a lifetime. High brew is a reminder that there are no bad days. While living your dreams, Elizabeth and David, 130 to 150 naturally, um, I'm sorry, 130 to 150 milligrams naturally occurring caffeine per can from 100% fair trade Arabica beans. Has other ingredients, it has, um, reduced fat milk, pure cane sugar, and sea salt, and monk fruit extract, and stevia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairtrade certified by Fairtrade USA, has SKU, the ball logo, the recycling logo, and some other code. Manufactured for High Brew Coffee Incorporated, Austin, Texas, 78704. Phone number is 844-COLD-BREW. Visit us, www.highbrewcoffee.com. Has nutrition facts, serving size 8 fluid ounces, servings per container 1 amount per serving, calories 60, calories from fat 10. Okay, total fat, 1 gram, 2%, saturated fat, 0 0.5 grams, 3%, trans fat, 0 grams, cholesterol, 5 milligrams, 2%, sodium, 140 milligrams, 6%, total carbohydrates, 12 grams, 4%, dietary, I can't talk right, sorry, dietary fiber, 0 grams, 0%, sugars, 8 grams, protein, 2 grams, so yeah, I'm sorry for messing up talking, it's like getting late at night and I had to get up early. Okay, anyway, I'll let you see the can now. Okay, and the paint's a little bit messed up right there. So that sucks. So I'll have to buy another can. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog howling. He wants in side but yeah and the paint's messed up right there too so i'm trying to make this video quick i'm trying to pause it whenever he howls yeah it's an orange color and there's arrows like coming out around the top from the logo it looks pretty cool. I like it with the orange and brown. Looks a little bit gold because of my lighting, but it's orange. So yeah. And the can's already starting to get warm a little bit. Because even though it's only been recording for about five minutes, 
since I kept having to pause it. It's been more like almost 10 minutes since I got my drink out of my refrigerator. So I'm trying to do this quick. Okay, that's pretty much the whole can. Looks pretty cool, so now I'm gonna shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, and the smell. <sighs> this one smells like a darker type of coffee than the Mexican vanilla one did. Yeah, it smells strong, like a black coffee. <sighs> yeah, it smells like a black coffee, like a coffee you know you like brew yourself before you add any sugar and stuff to it. Doesn't really smell like salted caramel though. <sighs> Might smell like caramel a little bit, but not really. It's mostly that dark coffee smell. There's a little bit of froth, but not much. And the liquid is like a dark brownish color. So yeah. But anyway, now I'm gonna try it. We'll review it, because I already tried it. Smooth, liquidy and creamy. Um, has a strong, dark coffee flavor. Then the aftertaste, you get the hint of the salted caramel flavor. Tastes a little bit like the salted caramel Java Monster, but the flavor is not as noticeable as the Java Monster is. Like the caramel taste is like barely noticeable. It's basically only in the aftertaste. It's mostly just a strong coffee flavor. Yeah, I don't like this one as much as the Mexican vanilla one. I think the Mexican vanilla one was my favorite. But yeah, I still like the can design. It's av about average priced for a coffee drink. It was around $2 and something at Walmart. Energy-wise, it lasts about two hours to about three hours of energy because it has a high amount of caffeine. Um, and a little can, so that's cool. It doesn't have any B vitamins though, so that sucks. But yeah, energy-wise it works good. It's a good price. The flavor, this one's not my favorite, but it's still okay. I like it about the same as the double espresso one. So I'm going to give the salted caramel high brew coffee, the cold brew one. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, it's good, but could have been better. But yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. My next review, I'm going to be reviewing a new Wired Energy Drink. Stay tuned for that review. Stay tuned for my upcoming reviews. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.